I used to think that it was impossible to wake up at 5 a.m. because I wasn't a morning person, but it was not until I changed around and implemented some new habits that I realized it's not actually as hard as it seems to wake up early. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys my tips on how I wake up at 5 a.m. and work out and how I make it sustainable. I hope you guys enjoy. Welcome to this video. So I'm gonna be doing my 5 a.m. routine tomorrow. I just wanted to start the video tonight because essentially one of the biggest parts in getting yourself to wake up early is how you prepare yourself the night before. So I just wanted to share a few tips before I actually wake up tomorrow. The most obvious tip out there is to get at least seven to eight hours of sleep. If you're trying to wake up at five and you go to bed at one, that's not gonna really work out for you very well. And then you're gonna get sleep deprived and burnt out. So getting a good sleep is key. I feel like that's just obvious. When waking up at 5 a.m. started to really work for me was when I started getting my body into a good circadian, I think it's called rhythm, which means that I am going to bed at the same time every single night and waking up at the same time every single day from Monday to Friday. Yes, I do throw it off a bit on the weekends, but I try to have a balance with it. So your circadian rhythm is a 24 hour internal clock in our brain that regulates cycles of alertness and sleepiness by responding to light changes in our environment. But overall, I'm Googling it right now. It's very, very important to be in a good circadian rhythm your body will just thank you for that and then in turn it'll be a lot easier for you to wake up early because that's just your new normal for your body another thing that i do that just makes it so much easier for me to wake up in the morning is i've established a really good night routine let me know if you guys want to see that down below in the comments but i go to bed at 9 to 9 30 i love to lay in bed for at least an hour before i actually fall asleep so if i'm out one night and i don't get home until 9 9 30 i can't get myself to go straight to bed like i need my time to unwind and that's why integrating a good night routine is so important because essentially that leads to you getting the best sleep and being able to actually get yourself to wake up early and one thing that really really helps me get to bed is limiting my social media use just like the light in general that I'm using and seeing at night in terms of actually changing your sleep routine if you want to start waking up earlier you can either gradually do it so every night go to bed a little bit earlier like 15 minutes even 20 minutes half an hour and then wake up that much earlier you could do it that way or on the flip side of that you can go to bed at your normal bedtime whether that's like 12 or 1 and then just force yourself to wake up at 5 and then by the time 8 9 rolls around you're gonna be really really tired and hopefully just pass out and then that'll get your body in that rhythm but I do recommend doing it more gradually so that's probably easier on your body my last tip before the morning is surrounding yourself with motivation if I don't feel very motivated to wake up early what I'll do is I'll search up on TikTok, YouTube listen to a good podcast just any motivational content or even read a motivational book that is honestly key for me and it actually makes me always excited to wake up the next morning because it kind of just refreshes my brain like okay why am I doing this motivational content really does inspire me and so it's really important having like resources that you can go to or people even that can motivate you so if you ever feeling like not waking up the next morning watch a bunch of motivational videos and I swear you'll feel a lot better and you'll actually want to but anyways I'm gonna go to bed now and I will see you guys at 5 a.m. Unpopular opinion, but snoozing your alarm might seem very very controversial people say that if you want to wake up early and be productive like you can't do it but it's the only way that i get out of bed if i'm honest i have to snooze my alarm at least once or twice because those moments in bed are everything to me i stopped snoozing my alarm for a while but i was a bit miserable honestly if you want to snooze the alarm snooze it it's fine that time in bed is so precious in the morning and i just need it i don't think i could wake up early anymore without snoozing my alarm there's kind of a balance you have to have with this though because you don't want to be snoozing your alarm for an hour but if you allow yourself like one to two snoozes, then it's okay. When you're sleeping, you're asleep, so you're not really savoring your time in bed. And snoozing just really helps me savor my time in bed because I can at least be aware that it's my last like 20 to 10 minutes of sleeping. Also, what's really helped me actually get my butt out of bed in the morning and have a good routine is not going on my phone. My phone stays on my nightstand all morning. Social media is just so bad for you first thing in the morning as it is, but especially if you want to wake up early, just don't do it. What I do personally is use my social media time as like a reward for waking up early after my morning routine or I'll use my phone when I'm at the gym or after my workout class. But yeah, if you actually want to get your butt moving out of bed in the morning, don't scroll on social media, don't go on your phone, just get up and start your routine. Trust me. Okay, let's get our day started. I'm running.
really helps me get up in the morning is not giving myself a choice because what I used to do is every single time I would wake up early and my alarm would go off, I would give myself a choice and I'd be like, do I really want to wake up right now? And the answer would always be no. But if you have the mindset of giving yourself no choice, like this is what you got to do and that's it, don't question it when your alarm goes off, then that's the only thing possible. You can't sit there in bed and think of scenarios of you not waking up because that's just gonna tempt you even more. Also, what's really important is having a reason why behind you doing something. You need to have some sort of a goal, some sort of thing that you're working towards that's actually gonna make you get out of bed every day because you're gonna be so driven and motivated to achieve what you wanna achieve that even though yes, it's gonna still be hard to get up, it's gonna make it so much easier because you see the whole picture on why you're doing this if you're just aimlessly trying to wake up at five o'clock with no goal to go to the gym maybe before work and work on your health or just to have a longer morning routine for your mental sanity if you don't have a reason for it you're not gonna wake up even if you want to write down the reason why you're waking up early on sticky notes and putting it beside your alarm clock or putting it on your night table or writing out a paragraph for yourself or just bullet form what your goal is even if you make a mini vision board that you put up right in front of your bed so you wake up every morning and it reminds you do it because the more you surround yourself with motivation the more you have that inner determination things are going to be a lot easier and it's going to be something that you want to do rather than you have to do you can even make your alarm clock your voice and say something really motivational <laughs> So one thing that I make sure that I do in the morning is get movement in right away and not just work out but keep moving my body right after I get out of bed and do not sit down for at least the first like 20 minutes after waking up i'm the type of person that i can fall back instantly like this as soon as my head hits the pillow as soon as my body hits the couch i will be asleep again in a matter of no time even if i get 10 hours of sleep i can always go back to bed at this time in the morning because it's dark it kind of feels like the middle of the night it's very tempting for me to come downstairs and go on the couch but i have created a system and a routine for myself that doesn't allow that because i already know if i did i wouldn't be getting off that couch couch so make sure you're very aware of your surroundings and what your tendencies are so i need to constantly be walking around standing up in the morning to actually fully wake myself up that's why i choose to do the dishes first thing when i come downstairs while the water is boiling i have made it a habit so that i can like really jump start my day don't get me wrong everybody is different maybe for you you need to sit down first thing and that's how you wake yourself up so really adjust that to how you get woken up and how you feel at this time in the morning and see what works best for you i would recommend definitely trying out a couple different things and seeing what you get the best results with and how you feel and Go from there. thing to getting yourself out of bed early is having a physical incentive to get yourself out of bed whether that be a coffee a little treat whatever it is that's gonna make you wake up and get excited you almost have to have something for your mental sanity when you wake up in the morning that you're like yes i can't wait to have that for me that's just like drinking any warm drink in general i love feeling really cozy in the morning personally for me if i drink coffee before my workout especially like on an empty stomach it just does not sit well so i always have coffee a bit later in the day but you gotta do you so if coffee is a thing that is gonna get you out of bed and that you're gonna look forward to every morning then have that as your you know thing to look forward to it's gonna be different for everybody obviously so yeah the kitchen is clean now and i'm just gonna go ahead and make my warm drinks <laughs> about to 
start doing my gratitude journal and I personally love doing this in the morning because it gives me a bit of time like 10 to 15 minutes to just sit down reflect and truly relax in the morning I feel like sometimes my whole day is very go 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 I want to be very productive and I want to get my stuff done but in the morning is such a sacred time especially at 5 a.m. it's so quiet it's just such a different vibe I don't know how to describe it but it feels so sacred and it feels like you're almost the only one awake in the world and it's such a special feeling it almost feels like you're getting ahead of the world in a way and it feels really nice and I don't know what it is but the peace and quiet in the morning is just unmatched during this time I choose to do my five minute journal but you can even do whatever you want you can meditate you can read but if you wake up this early I would definitely suggest taking just 10 to 15 minutes just really soaking in the peace of the morning and having that moment of stillness and silence to start your day because it really does make a difference but yeah so let's journal and soak in this rain I don't know if you guys can hear it but it's so cozy I know it could be perceived as feeling depressing waking up this early in the winter because of how dark it is but I honestly kind of like it I don't mind it at all because I'm kind of getting my whole morning routine done before the sun rises which it makes me feel really accomplished <laughs> ice roller when I first started waking up at 5 a.m. and I have not skipped a day since. In the morning, I don't know if it's just me, but my eyes feel so tired and just heavy almost and they feel really just gross. But as soon as I get some cold ice on them, they feel a million times better. And so I start off with my eyes and I just ice roll my whole face, but I just do this to depuff and to wake me up. It's so cold, but it feels so good. If you guys are planning on waking up early, I would definitely recommend getting an ice roller. You can do this at really any point in the morning, but it really just does help wake your face up. I will have this one linked in my Amazon down below. I do really love this one. I've had it for a while now and it's really cute and pink. So I have a workout class today and I'm just going to pick out a workout set But what does really help if you guys don't feel motivated to work out at all is setting up your workout clothes The night before so that you already have a set picked out for yourself and put it somewhere where you see it So that you can't avoid it I'm the type of person that likes to wake up and stay in their pajamas for a bit But if you really really need the extra push in the morning I would suggest setting out your workout clothes the night before and then once you get out of bed put them on like don't even hesitate just put the workout clothes on because then you're one step closer to actually you know going out to work out but back when I first started waking up early I used to change into my workout clothes right away because if I didn't then I would go back to bed and not work out so it's about implementing little habits that make it just that much easier for yourself so that you're more inclined to do them you may not think that these little habits will do anything for you but they actually do because in a way they trick your brain and they work just try it because trust me it does something subconsciously it almost just like plants that seed in your brain when you prepare to work out the night before I'm gonna get a workout set on and then I have to leave pretty <laughs> pretty quick here <laughs> This ginger shot so we're gonna do my immune system a favor this morning it has ginger lemon turmeric I posted the recipe in one of my last vlogs which I'll link down below but cheers to waking up early and achieving all of our goals in the new year <coughs> that's so spicy it burns but I just know that it's healthy and I don't want to be getting sick so the 
car and once you make it into the car you're set up to work out already so this is a good accomplishment every morning i have a 7 a.m workout class booked and if you need something to hold you accountable workout classes are the best thing ever i'm telling you because i do both i do workout classes and i go to the gym and on days where i have a workout class i am moving my butt in the morning i gotta stay on track here i actually have to get up i can't snooze my alarm too many times and it really motivates me because i can't just cancel it last minute but on the other side of that going to the gym i wake up and i'm just so much more laxy daisy because i can technically show up to the gym anytime and it'll be okay if you start work at a certain time maybe this is a bit different for you because you have to stay on schedule no matter what but for people that have a little bit more flexible schedule i'm telling you booking a workout class is the best thing ever i go to oxygen yoga and fitness i love them so much everything is just laid out for you when you wake up you know what time you have to be there and so it actually gives you an incentive to work out in the morning then once you get there you don't even have to do any thinking because the instructor does it for you and you just got to follow along in the class going to the gym is a bit different because you have to do your own workouts and i honestly just really like the vibe of a workout class way more and it's just more motivating in general so if you have never tried a workout class before i really understand that they can be expensive and not everybody can afford to you know pay that monthly or class by class i do have a discount code on oxygen yoga and fitness if you guys want to use it this is not sponsored but they did reach out to me so i'll put it down below for you guys but i personally see it as an investment in your health if you don't have your health you really don't have anything one of my main goals in my life in general is just to stay healthy and make sure that i'm doing everything that i can obviously everything in moderation and you gotta have balance with everything in life but i do really try my best to stay as healthy as i can because i know that health is so so important and without my health i couldn't be doing what i do that's why i see it more as an investment and it also romanticizes the morning in a way because you can put on your cute little if you're going to pilates you could put a cute little pilates princess outfit on you know meet up with your friends at a workout class and then go get a coffee afterwards if you want or a smoothie you really could romanticize it a lot anything that you can do in general just to romanticize your morning i would recommend doing even if that's lighting a candle first thing when you wake up if that makes you feel good do that if it's going out to go buy a coffee do that it's all about making your day-to-day -day just more pleasurable there's no point of being in a really strict routine if you're not happy with it and if you're not enjoying it so make sure that you're integrating things into your morning that you really enjoy and that romanticize it for you and that make you want to wake up the next morning instead of not <laughs> waking up at 5 a.m is pretty hard but when you have so many things giving you that motivation and, and incentive to wake up it makes it a lot easier yeah so just romanticize the hell out of your mornings then waking up early is going to be something that you crave to do rather than you force yourself you just kind of have to get yourself into that habit so yeah i'm gonna head to my workout class because i gotta go i'm doing a matt pilates class today and i love that class so much let's go work out i'm so excited oh my, oh my, oh my Sex game goes stupid, stepping like a toothpick Man, to tell the truth, your opinion is irrelevant